From the customer's standpoint, the customer is going through a series of steps or stages in their journey on their experience that begins with discovery and then learning about the problem that they have, looking at the evolution of parts of possible solutions to their problem and the product or solution that they're looking for. Then there's the actual purchase decision. And finally, there's the usage and engagement of the product or service uh, and then advocacy if they're happy with the experience, which is everybody's ideal goal. These are the stages the cu customer is going through. In parallel, what you want to do as an organization, as a marketing team, as an operations and delivery team, as a business, what do you need to do? You want to reach customers to make them aware of your products and services and your brands. You want to acquire them. You mean you want to bring them on board. You want to get them to sign up with you to get to try your new services and solutions. And then you want to convert them into paying customers and keep them. So you want to develop the customer relationship, get them to buy more frequently from you, buy more products or services from you to increase their lifetime value, all those things that you know. And next you want to do is that you retain them and keep them, that they don't churn, that we don't lose them, and that we have a relationship in which there's loyalty and they become advocates for our company or brand. Now that sounds simple, but it's difficult to do, especially in the digital age. And there's a lot of infrastructure and value architecture that needs to be addressed, especially now that we have advanced analytics, uh, advanced uh, computing capabilities, uh, and AI and machine learning and cognitive solutions and intelligent automation. So that's the customer experience DNA. And these actions are parallel and interwoven as a double helix. What's really important to understand is that the customer experience DNA framework are the jobs to be done at each stage. And we need that to be connected and holistic through the journey of the customer, that they want to get done the jobs that we need to get done as a firm and that those things are lined up well and smooth and seamless. And there's lots of opportunity for deploying AI and other type of technologies to help you do that to get done. The framework of jobs to be done is a very useful way to think about the goals and expectations that customers have, as well as what you have as a business. The jobs are essential to delivering, to creating that winning experience. So customers will want to be going through these stages, learn, engage, and advocate. Here's my brand, here's my product, and here's my value proposition is being met along the way during their journey. And so as we transform and become invincible companies, this is a great place to start. Honing in on your segmentation, making sure you have it, solving customer identity resolution issues so that you always know who you're dealing with so you can deliver that excellent experience across the journey and building out uh, through the DNA framework an architecture to create value, win and keep and create loyal advocates along the way. We'd love to talk to you about how we do this for many firms. You can hang many different initiatives off this framework, starting with segmentation, doing the CX DNA, doing digital transformation road mapping, doing AI blueprinting and canvases and roadmaps and so on. There's lots that we can do to transform and we have plenty of experience doing it with lots of well-known brands that you know. Thank you.